Welcome back, everybody. It's me again, Chef Ivory. Ivory the Chef, Cuvée's Culinary Creations, Cuvée's Creations. You know, here I am again. This is week four of healthy eating. And uh, today, you know, I've been pondering and pondering and pondering what to do. So about six or seven years ago, I had a young lady that moved here from Japan and I was privileged to cook food for her on a daily basis. I was her personal chef. So we started off eating regular food, you know, fat, lots of fat. And then she decided that she, wants to be, she wanted to become a vegan. So what did we do? We went in and we created some vegan meals for her. So I took a twist on that. So today, instead of the black bean portobello mushroom burger, we're going to do a turkey portobello mushroom burger. So this burger is actually made of ground turkey um, and portobello mushrooms and is definitely keto friendly, right? So we're using the portobello mushrooms instead of the bread, right? But before we get started, you know, we got to give ourselves a plug here, right? Cuvées, Creations, Honey Lime Vinaigrette. If you haven't gotten your vinaigrette right now, go to CuvéesCreations.com, go to shop, fill out your information, and we'll make sure we get your salad dressing shipped off to you. Um, we're shipping salad dressing off every day. Zandra, I want to say thank you for your two bottles. Your two bottles are ready, and Rob's going to bring you your two bottles. Um, also, this weekend, we... Is she on? Hey, Zandra. So this weekend, we had... Thanksgiving in July and let me tell you what it was phenomenal when I tell you phenomenal the rave that we got about the food was incredible the turkeys the dressing the mac and cheese the greens the sweet potatoes the fresh dinner rolls we did all of that so as we all came to the table we decided that we we're going to do one Sunday a month, we're going to do a big Sunday family dinner. And the next Sunday, I believe, is going to be August 16th. Um, we're going to do shrimp and grits, fried chicken, fried fish, vegetables, loaded mashed potatoes. I think we ran that on Mother's Day, and it was phenomenal as well. So we're going to do another take on that. And you guys get your orders in early and fast. You go to cuvéscreations.com, fill out the quote page, and boom, you're in. We get you situated and we'll get you as free delivery, as contactless delivery, and the food's going to be phenomenal. we got a phenomenal staff of chefs that's here with us, and we're going to make sure this is all done. So, that's enough of that. So, let's get started with... Our turkey portobello mushroom burger. So, what we're going to do is, uh, by the way, this is also inspired by my little man Ryland. He always, uh, Rob's son, he always asks me, he wants me to teach him how to do a burger. So, I'm sure he's out recording it. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our turkey. We have about a pound and a half of turkey. And we have uh, a tablespoon of pesto, just a tablespoon. Uh, we have a half a tablespoon of garlic. We have onion powder, garlic powder, uh, Montreal chicken seasoning. We're going to do two tablespoons of that. And that's it. We're not going to do anything else. Now, again, this is healthy eating, guys, right? So we're going to cut down on a lot of the sodium, right? Instead of using pickles, we're going to use cucumbers. And we're not going to pickle them because of the high sodium content, right? And you got your choice. of you can, We can use lettuce or we can use um, spinach. Doesn't matter to me. And everybody likes some kind of fat on their burger, right? So let's say, for example, if we're going to use a mayo. Mayo is fattening. So what can we take in the place of mayo 
to get the same uh, flavor profile or to get the same kind of fat, but we want it to be a good fat. So what we're going to do is we would use some avocado. Right? Avocado is a good fat. It's nice. It's creamy. So that's what we would use. So here we go, little writer. So what we do in order to make a perfect burger, we take a plastic top. We take a plastic top. And we take our burger and we mix it together, right? And we're going to take the burger and put it inside the top, right? And then take the edges from around it because we don't want anything access, at, I mean, excess. And there you have it, easy peasy. And then you're going to fold your burger over. We're going to take it out of there in just a second. Let's wash our hands. Voila. So now, when you do this, you can take all of these burgers and you can put them in the freezer and freeze them. But they're ready and they're nice and thick and then you got a good burger here, right? So that's what you do with your burger. So we have our burger there. We're going to let our burger sit. So <clears throat> portobello mushrooms, they're big, they're very, very flavorful. So, but it's hard to find them perfectly round, right? So we're going to take the port portobellos. And what I did was I cleaned out the gills, right? So we're going to clean out the gill on this, on this one so that you guys can see. So the gill is the brown part inside the mushroom. And it's really easy to take it out. All you're going to do is just, you're going to hold the, hold your mushroom and you're going to basically just kind of scoop it out with your, with your spoon, right? It's around the like edge. Huh? Kind of like burnt toast. <laughs> like burnt toast yeah. yeah. So you have to be careful because the mushroom is very, ten very sensitive or very tender around the outside. So you don't want to break it. So I had already broken this one, so I wanted to use this one as an example for you guys. So, and so once you clean the gills, you have your you have your portobello, right? So what we do is we're going to take our mushrooms now that we've already cleaned. We're going to take our mushrooms that we already cleaned. And we're gonna basically just take a little olive oil and we're gonna rub both sides with olive oil, right? So you don't necessarily have to actually cook these. So uh, Dee, when she became vegan, we didn't even cook these mushrooms. We left them whole just like this. But for our purposes and for Rob's purpose, because he likes his burgers sauteed, we're going to saute them. So you're going to take a little of your seasoning and put it on the mushroom, right, on both sides. Right? And then you're going to take your garlic. And you're going to take a little garlic and you're going to sprinkle it onto your portobello. And you're going to rub it in. And you can set your oven to about 350 or 400 degrees. Put them on a sheet pan and let them roast to your liking. So you can take them and saute them all the way down or you can leave them whole and full. Doesn't really matter, right? It's totally up to you and your preference. So we're going to take these and we're going to stick these into the oven at the top. There we go. Oh, Terry. Ch Terry. Hey, Terry. Who, Brian? Uh, my daughter-in-law. So my daughter-in-law, who just had her last round of chemo. Uh, congratulations, Brie. Uh, I'm so, so very proud of you. You are setting a total, total great example of motherhood 
and of being a black woman who is fighting one of the biggest diseases in the world. So I want to say thank you, and I cherish every moment and every time I see you because you are amazing, and you are truly a black girl at rock. So that was a great commercial for you, wasn't it, Bree? You buy me a bottle of tequila for that. Okay. <laughs> I hope okay. You speak of me like that. Okay, I think of you like that, Soraya. So, on your burger, guys, how many of you cook burgers and your burger shrivels up? Right? So, how do you make your burger where it doesn't shrivel up? Well, the first thing you're going to do is we're going to take our skillet and we're going to add a little pan spray. Remember, we're eating healthy. We're eating healthy, right? So, you take your little pan spray and you let your skillet get hot. And while your skillet is getting hot, you're going to open your burger. And you're going to go presentation side down, right? So this is the presentation side. So we're going to go down on presentation side. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our thumb and we're going to press down in the center of the burger and create a small hole, but not going all the way through. Oh, that is a donut burger. <laughs> so that way your burger doesn't start to do this. It's done. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so hopefully you guys are learning something today. I haven't heard about my biggest fan yet. Ariana, are you there? Not here. She's not here yet? Okay. So, uh, my parents, hello, mom and dad. So, um, Kim, I think Kim is watching. Kim had one of our Thanksgiving dinners on Sunday, and uh, she said the food was amazing. The only thing was missing was the potato salad. And I'm like, damn, how, how much more food could you really eat? <laughs> Rob, yes. Oh, my pastor. You changed it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You lying. I did not. No, I did not. Okay, so we got our burger. Our burger's working. We have all of our vegetables. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on our avocado. Right? So we got nice green avocados. So here in Texas, avocados are expensive. So now we got our burger, we're going to flip our burger, and we're going to continue, and we're going to put just a little press down on it, so we're going to create some air in the meat, so therefore it won't shrink up. Okay, so we're going to let that go. So then we're going to take our avocado, and we're going to create, if you will, may mayo with our avocado, right? So we're going to take our avocado, several times so so we're gonna take our avocados and we're gonna smash our avocado up a little bit India's doing hey sister how are you that's my baby sister Miss India glad to have you here uh, I called her today just to talk to her about our new website we're gonna take a little bit of our seasoning and put on there guys and we're gonna mix it together and then we're going to take just a little lemon juice Just a little bit of lemon juice on it, right? And we're done. That's it, right? So everything is ready. Soraya, can you give me so? Now that your burger's in the skillet and you flipped it a couple of times, I'm going to teach you a secret of how to keep your burger nice and juicy. After it comes out of the skillet, hit it with a little moisture. And look what happens. So the burger's going to take a lot of the moisture. 
All the foam from the pan is going to go into the sauce or into the liquid. And you're going to take all of your liquid and your burger. And you're going to put it inside a pan. And the pan goes into the oven until it's finished. That's how it's right. So, now we're going to take our portobellos. Pull the portobellos for me, the big ones. There you go. I want those. <laughs> Let's sit it right here. There we go. Okay, so we got the portobellos sitting here, right? And now we got the beef, the, the turkey. Yep, give me that one. So take a look at your burger. Look at the juice that's inside of the burger. Right? It's nice and firm. So we're going to take our plate. We're going to take our cutting board. We're going to take a bottom of the portobello. Right? We're going to take our mayo, if you will, or our avocado, and we're going to spread the avocado. Right? We're going to take our burger. We're going to take a slice of tomato. We're going to take a couple of slices of cucumbers. Right? So we're going to take, what would you prefer, spinach or lettuce? Doesn't matter. You can take the spinach. Let's take some lettuce. You know, I'm not choosing. <laughs> so we're going to take a little lettuce. And then we're going to take the other part of the burger, and we're going to sit it there right there on top. How about that? Huh? Look at that. Right? Mm -hmm. So then typically, if you overcook the portobellos, they're going to crack open. So we're going to pray that this one doesn't crack open. Be so kind to look into that drawer right there and hand me a, oh no, this drawer right here and hand me a toothpick. This one? Yeah. This should be a, a thing of toothpicks in there. There we go. Thank you. So how about that, guys? We'll work on the plating for you uh, for a picture in a second. But so how how would you eat this? What would you do with this burger? Would you use fries? No. Because remember, it's healthy eating. So no fries, right? So of course you can pair it with a salad. Or you can just be a diva and just say, that's enough food for me today. Right? Because you have the protein, you have the lettuce, you have the tomatoes, you have the avocados, you have onions. Did I place an onion on there? Lee said sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries, but they're fried. So we're eating healthy today. He said it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Thank you, Z. So this is a great burger, guys. Look at that. So if you're vegan, 
you can use a, 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 a black bean, a black beans. You can use a, a black bean patty instead of the turkey, right? If you want to use the ground beef, you can. Of course, again, we're eating healthy, so we're gonna go with the turkey or maybe even a veggie patty, if you will. So it's really simple, right? The burger is cooked all the way through. It's full of flavor. Uh, it's easy. It's simple. I showed you how to make the burger patties so you can put them in the freezer and you can pull them out in the morning, sit it in the refrigerator. By the time you come home, they're unthawed and they're done uh, and you don't have any problems. So, or you can pair this with the salad. Oh, she said you can air fry that. Oh, you can air fry the fries. <laughs> That's a good question. You can, right? Or you can pair it with a nice salad and use Cuvée's Creations Honey Lime Vinaigrette. It's only 100 calories uh, per serving. Serving is two tablespoons. It's perfect for your salad, perfect with this burger, and uh, it'll be delicious. And good question. How many calories? How many calories is the burger? Good question. This is probably about 700 calories because of the ground turkey. Now, if we use a veggie patty, veggie patty will probably be about 300, 300, maybe 325 in calories, but it may be high in sodium content. So you gotta watch it. Any other questions? How long do you leave the burger in the oven? So about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, depending on how, how long you do the grill, how long you grill it. So you really wanna make sure that the turkey is cooked all the way through, the internal temperature should be 155 degrees. I just browned it on each side, put it in the oven at 350 degrees, and let it finish off, and that's why it stayed juicy. And it doesn't look all dried out. Any more questions? So, order your salad dressing. Check out the new website. The new website is phenomenal. Ruben at RC Web Designs. Dude, let me thank you again. I appreciate you. Uh, we've been getting lots and lots of comments on, uh, on the webpage. Uh, hopefully we sent you uh, one of our customers uh, who's done business with us, Miss Nikita. Uh, she's in the process of getting her website developed and she wanted to call you, so hopefully she called you. India, have a safe trip. Um, Z, thank you for joining us. Brown Terry, sugar. thank you for joining us. Who's that? Brown Sugar. Brown sugar? Yeah, just the... Uh, oh, hey! How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining. Of course, we like to keep these short and sweet. Um, yes, we do. Because <laughs> Rob is ready to eat, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, once again, go to CuvaysCreations.com. Rhonda. 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 Yeah. Rhonda. <laughs> hey, Rhonda. Uh, Rhonda is amazing. She's been with us from day one. Ruth Go Yoda. Who's that? Ruth? Ruth? No. Yo. No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, they joined me. Oh, they just joined me. Well, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you, guys. <laughs> but listen, Rob's trying to get you this burger. So let me say this again. Go to our website. If you're planning any parties, any small parties of 10 or less, make sure you go to the website, go to the quote page, fill out the information. We'll get back with you within 12 to 24 hours to give you a great quote and get you all set up um, for your private dinner. Remember, social distancing, distancing is important. Um, we do a contactless deliveries. Um, I'm taking the rest of the week off, so we're not doing any food this week. Um, we're going to be at home trying to recoup, get some things taken care of here at the house. And next Wednesday, we'll start with our daily meals, and we'll be here Tuesday, of course. Tuesday would be week number five, and I'm going to have something absolutely phenomenal for you guys. Thanks to my Mohegan friends for motivating, for motivating us to walk. Sorry I haven't been able to walk in the past couple of days. There's a lot going on over here. We appreciate you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying Cuvée's Honey Lime Vinaigrette Salad Dressing. It needs to be in your house. If everybody has ranch dressing in their house, everybody needs to have Cuvée's Honey Lime Vinaigrette in their house, guys. And I really appreciate you. Go to our website, fill in the information, and we'll get a bottle shipped off to you right away.
Thanks again for watching. Let's enjoy this burger. Yes, let's enjoy the burger. <laughs>